my babe so i'm back with another video and this video is going to be a ulta haul i spent around 450 dollars somewhere around there um some of these products are for myself and some for my freelance kit so you know some goodies for myself of course and also for my kit but i did buy some amazon products so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that for a different video because this haul is i'm gonna go through some stuff so it's gonna be a lot so I'd rather just keep it with Ulta and then do a separate video for other type of things that I'm going to show you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name's Jessica. I make beauty related videos here on YouTube and also link all my social media down below. That way you guys go ahead and follow me and like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below and show some love. Mainly in my channel, you guys, you guys will just see makeup, beauty, and a bunch of hauls like Ulta, retail stores, you name it. Or just me like getting ready and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that type of content, subscribe to my channel. So I also had a hydro facial not too long ago, like maybe a couple of weeks ago. And I started peeling really bad. I'm like, you know what? I cannot film videos like this. So let me just give it like a break and see how my skin does so i did give it a little break and my skin is glowing you guys like i struggle with um texture on my face and it's all good sis like now it's all good let's go ahead and jump right in with this haul before i start just talking and um i have two ginormous bags here with me so they're right here and can't wait to start digging in here some of the products that I am going to be showing you guys for my kit, I did buy them before. It's just kind of like a restock and I'm in love with those products. So yeah. item that I have right here is this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush number 14. It's the detail brush, but it's the brow brush. I actually needed a new brush and I've been using other like brow brushes and it's just not it. I um, actually did get them threaded not too long ago and this brush never fails me but I know this brush can be a little bit pricey so if you guys have any other dupes let me know I've been trying to look on Amazon no luck but I just really really love the tip of this brush it's just very <clears throat> it's just very short and slanted and thin I like a thin brush for my brows so yeah it's just an awesome brush like i'm in love with this brush <laughs> and i already actually used this already today i just needed to actually use it um but it's just so fine i love it next item i was so pumped to actually see the palette um all the items were out um but when i was checking out i saw the palette there and the lady's like no it's damaged like it's you know it's not worth getting the palette so i was like can you just please check if it's damaged or not i'll buy it and she said it's not damaged so she actually opened it and i'm in love with the palette you guys this is the bh cosmetics bff alondra and lc palette i was about to say desi but it's the bff palette i actually used the palette today on my eyes i don't know if you guys can see it's like a teal blue um i just i'm in love with the honestly i'm in love with the colors here like the shade ranges are amazing they did an amazing job with the palette um i tried purchasing the palette when it came out but literally y'all are so so good um even with the murillo twin um pr collection i was about to purchase everything but everything got sold out so i had to buy everything individual but this right here is so pretty i love the just the colors are amazing look at the shades you guys um and the colors i use these two and actually this one this one i kind of played around with like all the shades um well not all of them but like the orange burnt orange um virgo malibu Scorpio, Mexicana, OTD, Wine and Dine. I literally play with all the browns and like the blues right here. I love it. I'm probably going to take this with me to Vegas because I actually want to try like the other like shimmer sh uh, shades for like a night out. Like the blue and the green. 
Yes, and it was $24. Next two items I have here are from The Ordinary. I got the hydration and oil 100% plant derived squalini. It's an oil. Um, I suffer from really dry skin. So lately, I've just been prepping my skin really good. And this right here is freaking amazing. Um, I'll leave all the items and links down below. That way you guys can go ahead and purchase them. And then I got the AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. This right here is a Tech Talk recommendation. This is a red peeling solution that everybody's putting on their face. Or I think it was like maybe like a couple months back but i'm like new on this so i was just like you know what i need to get this so this item i believe you can do it like twice a week because you just don't want to do it no more than that it's gonna mess up your skin so i can't wait to try that out then for my kit i got the essence lash princess a false lash mascara and i got the blue one um i believe i got the green one for myself but the blue one is waterproof so i do a lot of bridal and like special events so anybody that's gonna cry this is this is it you guys and it is super affordable i believe it's like 4.99 3.99 and i always stock up on these because i go through this like crazy and for my freelance kit i bought some concealers these are like my absolute favorite concealers um i'm still using some of my mac and trying to like get rid of those what are the ones i'm using the tarte ones which i actually love but these are a dupe these are the l'oreal infallible concealers and i had to restock on these because these are amazing they're nice and creamy and if you prep the skin, you know, a lot of people say they dry you out. But if you prep the skin, put a lot of oils on your face, then it won't be too dry. So, yeah, it is very affordable. I believe it's like $13.99 for one of them. But sometimes Ulta has deals, you guys. So, you guys go to Ulta. And I got like different shades. I got like the light shade. I believe I got cashmere, latte, toffee, and cashew. Honestly, when you're a freelance makeup artist... You know like what you want in your kit because you love that product. You just you're not gonna put something in your kit that you've never tried. And I love this. I absolutely love my concealer. I always use it like when I do makeup, I use a um, cashew one and that just really highlights my face really nice. And I said it really good and it's just full coverage and I love it. Next thing that I have here is from Benefit. I got the big brow love um kit right here it has the they're all full size actually so it's the 24 hour brow setter the give me brow and the precisely my brow pencil and it's a 70, 72 value and i bought it for 30 dollars i'm end up going back and getting another one i got the number four deep brown and this is what it looks like i'm gonna put it right here absolutely had to get this one for myself and see what the hype is all about but the pencil and i did my brows today you guys and look how my brows look like they look so good i've never seen a pencil that works amazing on my brows like i, I before i was just like nah it's just a regular pencil everybody's like so like hyped over this no this pencil right here is the ish you guys you guys need to purchase this okay go get it now now that it's $30, you guys need to go get it now. The Gimme Brow is phenomenal. I love it. I will definitely repurchase that again. The setting, um, the brow setter is good too. So I might go get like the lighter shade, like the medium one. Um, this is like a dark shade. It's number four. It's the brown. But I might go get like, um, for like blondes, I might go get a different one. I believe Sephora has it as well like i fell in love with the pencil you guys um actually i didn't even see the box here when i went to ulta i was about to buy the pencil just to try it out by itself and then the lady's like oh here um this is actually our last one and i feel like it'll you know go really nice with you so i did buy it and this is what the pencil looks like this is what the pencil looks like and I really love it. It's very precise and it's very thin, which I love. You can get like the little hairs in the front. Amazing. The next thing I have here is a palette for my kit. I have a bunch of little pans, like refill pans, like MAC. I have, what else? Colourpop. I have a bunch of like small pans 
that I made for myself for my kit. But I actually needed, I don't know, I was like, you know what, let me get a new palette. And I'll probably end up depotting this one in a, um, a Z palette. That 35XO Natural Flirt palette from Morphe. Looks like this. And the shades here are calling bridal to me. Like, they're so pretty. The reason why I got it, um, because I don't really have, like, the mauve, like, the rosy colors um and this palette does like it has a bunch of like purples pinks um mauve tones like uh it's just so beautiful for bridal i'm gonna go ahead and test this out for myself first and see how the shades are if not i'll go ahead and return it back because i was eyeing some other um eyeshadow palettes from a different brand um i believe it was like makeup forever um but this is so inexpensive i believe it was 25 dollars, which is amazing you get so many um colors here like the shade ranges are beautiful you get like shimmers you get like this pressed glitter right here it's so beautiful um but i'll probably end up you know leaving this in my kit honestly because it has so many beautiful shades if you guys are starting off with like makeup and you guys want to do like freelance go ahead and get more for you guys i feel like that's super affordable like their Morphe um, pomades, their Morphe, um, what, is, what else, um, eyeshadows, everything from Morphe, I feel it's so affordable. Alright, and then I got this brush from Morphe and it's the M321 Bullet Crease Brush. I needed a new crease brush for my kit and it's just a regular crease brush. Um, I have a bunch of them for myself, but slowly I'm trying to get new... Um, eyeshadow brushes and i usually have like crown i have bubella brushes and like just different like morphe all kinds of brushes honestly but they're old so i'm just now this year i'm starting to restock a, bu a bunch of stuff and throwing makeup that i don't have because of last year the pandemic that happened i didn't have that much clients and now i feel like i'm getting more people so yeah i feel like it's it's just me, you know, I feel like I need to buy new stuff that I can, you know, like financially I can buy stuff for my kit. Because um, I'm, like I said, I'm getting more clients and I feel like I should start organizing, depotting things. And I'll make videos to you guys, that way you guys can see it and you guys can try that at home if you guys are freelance makeup artists. The next thing I have here, and I'm not going in any particular order. So I got the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Cafe. This is a beautiful nude lip liner. You guys need this lip liner in your life. It's so pretty and it's just a nude shade. And All right, the next thing I have here is my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This spray right here is amazing, you guys. It melts. Any type of makeup that you have on your face, powders. My thing is powders, you guys. <sighs> Especially when when I do makeup. Most of the time when I apply some powder, like translucent powder under their eyes, sometimes it does crease. It's rare. But when it does, when I apply this setting spray, it just kind of melts the product into the skin. And it's just magical, you guys. It's amazing and it's affordable. So I give this a 20, like more than that. Like it's just, it's my baby, you guys. I use the, what is it called? What's that setting spray that I have? Um, Scandinavia. I use the bridal one for anybody that I do makeup on. But I use this first just a little bit and it just kind of melts the product into the skin it i just love it I got lashes i got the ardell wispy lashes these are just a five pair lash i already used one of them and these are so natural so when it comes to lashes i have a variety of lashes that i use for bridal or any type of special events i mainly go with the ardell ones because they're very natural and i also have like mink lashes which i buy like on amazon they're more dramatic and honestly majority of them do go for like the dramatic ones that's the type of clientele i have but these i just go for like mother of the bride they you know will do this or just individual lashes 
And I keep the individual lashes from Ardell as well. Next thing I have here is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. This is an oldie but goodie sponge. I had to repurchase this for myself. I'm probably gonna buy sponges for my kit with these. I usually go for like the um, Real Techniques. It comes in four, which is super affordable and I can just throw them away when I'm done. So this is a repurchase for myself. I had to get the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in matte. This right here is my baby. It is super affordable, super black, and it's just awesome, you guys. I bought another one for my kit too, but I don't really, I don't really use liquid liners for freelance because majority of it it's like bridal, and I usually use gel, um, or sometimes I don't even use any liner. Um, just kind of like smoke at the eye, so it can look really nice and flawless. But liquid, it's just kind of messy to me. I just don't. But if someone does like a quinceanera or a, any special event, like I'll use liquid if they want me to. Here are these facial radiant pads. And this is from First A Beauty. So this right here, it exfoliates the face if you have like textured um, skin or you just want to brighten up your face. This is amazing. This is my go-to. So I had to repurchase this and it's just very thin pad which I love you just like clean the face prep the face before anything so yeah and they smell good then I had to buy a gel liner and black from LA girl these are amazing super affordable then I got the lifter Maybelline gloss and stone these right here are gonna be like amazing for my kit i actually own the bronze uh, it's like it looks like it's like a bronze with like specks like specks of glitter in it it's really nice and i really love it this right here is calling bridal vibes for me it's really nice pink nude lip gloss and it has a really good scent to it it's not really strong but the coverage is so pretty and I always put lip gloss on brides just it just looks really flawless and well put together so this shade is amazing I'm actually gonna go back and buy topaz and there's another one too that I forgot but it's like a nudie nude this is more like a pink nude so I'm gonna go back and get more shades because I'm in love with them next item I'm almost done you guys okay I'm almost done Next thing I have here is this Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Powder. Everybody's been raving about this product right here. I actually use this underneath my eyes and I actually like it. Probably end up actually using it again just to see if I like it, but probably give it like a 9.5. It's pretty good. It's up there. Um, I actually went out to eat and it has increased or anything like that, so it is really good product do like a separate video for like a review or something let me know in the comments down below but i am in love with this for now and lastly for my ulta haul i did purchase the laura mercier translucent powder this is brand new you guys okay brand new and i actually have another setting powder that i'm gonna leave for myself um i am in love with this powder right here this is the only powder that i use for my clients so that is it you guys for this video thank you guys so much for watching um it may be not a lot but it is a lot honestly with all the stuff that i bought like it was over 400 dollars i'm gonna do a different type of videos let me know and comment down below for more ideas i know what type of content i'm gonna be bringing but just stay tuned for that um i also have some bras hauls to show you guys some clothing items I have some stuff in the bag that i need to try out I'm probably end up buying Sephora stuff as well because the Sephora sale is going on right now. So I might end up going to Sephora and buying some products. I'm not going to go that ham because I know Sephora can be pretty expensive. I'm just going to go there and buy some stuff for my kit. Um, I always think about my kit, like which is so good. I never think about myself, honestly, when it comes to makeup. Um, but obviously, I always have to, I have to try it in order to put it into my kit. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for this haul. Thank you guys so much. Please like this video, subscribe, and comment down below and show some love, you guys. Bye, guys.